Phase two today is how he described that next period. That came out in a briefing that was short on specifics, but did have one strikingly emotional moment. It was an entirely typical Governor Polis press conference. He outlined some new statistics, went through some PowerPoint slides, droned on a bit about the details, sidestepped a few reporter questions, until the moment he was asked about the rhetoric being used by his critics. We told you about State Senator Jerry Sonnenberg calling Polis' Colorado a police state, worse than communism. How Republican House Leader Patrick Neville linked stay-home orders to the mentality of the Nazi police. Governor Polis was asked to respond to ugliness like that. And the governor showed a motion we rarely see. As a, a, a Jewish American who lost family in the Holocaust, I'm offended by any comparison to uh, Nazism. Uh, we act. Uh, we act to save lives. The exact opposite of the uh, slaughter of six billion Jews and, and many uh, Gypsies and Catholics and uh, gays and lesbians and Russians and, and so many others. You're not by by not staying at home by having parties by congregating you're not you're not sticking it to the government you're not sticking it to to jared polis you're sticking it to yourself uh, because you're putting yourself and your loved ones in jeopardy and you're prolo prolonging the economic pain and difficulties that your fellow coloradans face There is a common sense argument for lifting Colorado's social distancing guidelines, perhaps for doing it even more quickly than the governor wants. And we need to hear that argument. But right now, it is being drowned out by the Republican state legislators who are likening Governor Polis's stay home order to the tactics of the Nazis. They go on the radio and say that it leads to a Gestapo-like mentality. They write op-ed saying it's a police state that's worse than communism. They send out fundraising letters talking about the Polis police state. They do this because they know it raises the two things that they need most. Anger and money. Meanwhile, most of Colorado is having a common sense, good faith discussion about how we reopen our state as quickly as possible. And at this point, I don't see how the elected officials who are ranting about communism and Nazis have anything to contribute.